Grace, and welcome back to Camping with Emmy, Home and Camper Renovations on a Budget. In today's video, I'm going to be making over this beautiful, pre I <laughs> can't say it. Um, in today's video, I will be making over this beautiful French provincial dresser. And you guys will not believe this. I bought this on Facebook Marketplace and it was only $20. I mean, as you can see, this is a really big dresser. It has nine drawers. It is in excellent, excellent condition. This is solid wood. The drawers are solid wood. I mean, they are heavy. And it's an awesome, awesome piece. And this dresser also has dovetail joints in the drawers. So you know that this is a quality piece of furniture. You can see the solid wood construction in the drawers. It's an excellent shape. I'm going to reuse all of the hardware. I just need to buy a couple of little new um, poles to go here in the middle because I'm missing two. Um, this I'm sure is the original one. But other than that, this thing is in really, really good shape. This is going to be for our beautiful little Gracie girl. Our little Gracie is nine years old, and this dresser is for her, and this is going to go in her room. And she wants pink, so pink it is. This dresser is going to be done in pink, but I think that it's going to turn out beautifully, and I can't wait to get started on it and show you all this process. And since we are working with a French provincial dresser, I only have one word to say to you all. Alonzi. Okay, so the first step is to clean this dresser really well. And just like the cabinets in our camper renovation, check those out if you haven't seen those videos. We did a great transformation of a 1999 Coachman camper and it turned out beautiful. But same thing, I'm gonna clean this really well with crud cutter first. Then I'm going to sand this down and I'm going to use probably a 220 grit sandpaper. I want to rough it up, but I don't really want to tear up the wood and I'll be using my palm sander. And I also have this little sander here that can get in all the little grooves and corners. So that's our first step. Even though all of these drawers appear to be the same size, they're not. The top and the middle and the bottom are all different sizes. So I'm going to be numbering these so that when um, I need to put them back in when it's all finished, I'm sure that they're going to be in the right location. What I like about this top drawer is it seems to have a built-in jewelry tray here. And once I get it cleaned up, I think that's going to be a really nice feature to have in this piece.
wanted to clean these up a little bit better and lighten them up a little bit. And so I'm going to be using some Barkeeper's Blend on these so that I can get them lightened up a little bit. And I have both the powder here and I also have the soft cleanser. The soft cleanser is easier to use because it stays on better, but you have to scrub a lot longer when you use it. If you're able to keep the powder on it, <laughs> it, it works better, the powder does. But anyway, I'm going to use this uh, toothbrush and I'm just going to give it a really good scrub and I might have to go over it a couple of times. So we'll give it a rinse. Let's see what we have here. And you can see it's really starting to clean up well here on this side. And I'll show you one that I already have done. If we swing on over here, you can really see the difference between the two pieces. I have two drawers in this piece that are sticking a little bit out of the um, 369, so that's not too bad. Uh, this, these two here, this one, I've sanded it down a little bit and it seems to be pretty good, but I still need to sand this one down because I don't want them sticking when, um, when we're trying to open and close the drawers. So I just need to sand um, this top piece down a little bit and the sides, and then it should slide right in and out. ticket. 100 grit. I am washing down the inside of this uh, dresser in here and I'm using Murphy's oil soap because this is safe for wood and it's 98% naturally derived ingredients in it and this works so well on wood and I feel very confident that this will not dry the wood out at all. I am also washing out all of the inside of each drawer, all nine of them, <laughs> with the Murphy's Oil Soap as well. Although I will tell you that the drawers and even the whole inside of the dresser were already really, really clean. They don't have any bad smell or odor to them and they were just really clean to begin with. So that really is a plus. So the next thing that I'm going to do is go over all of my surfaces with some tack cloth, the whole dresser, the drawers, and the mirror, and then we'll be ready to start priming. with kills and the reason for that is is that it will hide any bleed through that may come through this furniture and so I, this makes a really nice base and then it should only take a couple of coats of my paint color and then that part will be done.
next step will be to wipe everything back down again with some tack cloth to make sure that there aren't any little fuzzies or any dirt on top. And this is one little trick that I like to use when I'm painting because I am using a broad, a roller head and a mat is to take some painter's tape and go over it like this. And it just takes any loose fuzz off of this that might be on here so it doesn't get stuck to your piece. The paint that I am going to be using on this dresser is actually some paint that I already had that I used in a previous project. And this is the color. Our sweet Gracie girl wanted pink. And so this dresser is going to be pink. And you can see by the stir stick, this is the color. It's a real soft, pretty pink. before this part of the dresser is missing a little bit of detail and what I'm going to do is I am going to recreate those little pieces using some clay that dries real hard and that is paintable. So basically what I need is just this little piece here and these two little pieces here. This is what I need to recreate because the rest is all intact. I'm just going to take some tissue paper and I'm going to just kind of draw around this so that I can get an idea of the size and scale of this. I just think that this would be, you know, a fairly easy way of being able to duplicate this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just go over my little pencil drawing that I made with a Sharpie so I can see it a little bit better. Now I'm just going to cut out my little template that I made here because really that's the only way I'm going to be able to see if it's going to fit, you know, well in the area where it goes. So once I get this cut out, I'll take it over to the other side of the dresser and I will fit it and make sure it looks good. And then from there, I can start modeling the clay. All right, we're going to try my little thing here that I made and 
It actually looks pretty good. I just have to uh, tweak it a little bit. These are just a little bit too long and I need to cut this in a little bit here. All right, so I've pretty much got my shape here. And now I'm taking this little tiny screwdriver to make the little indentations that it shows in these uh, little decorative pieces. So there's that side. And then I'm just going to very lightly do the same on this side because it gives it a little bit of dimension so that it looks very similar to the piece that I'm trying to recreate <laughs> from the other so luckily I have the other side intact so that I can see kind of how this is supposed to look. All right, so I have my clay the way I want it, and I'm going to be using some E6000 to glue this on. Okay, so I was able to put um, a couple of coats of paint on this new little piece that I added of the clay here on this detailing. And next I'm going to be dry brushing some white paint over top of it. And the paint that I'm going to be using when I dry brush is Amy Howard at Home Natural One Step Paint. And this is in Bauhaus Bluff. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Anyway, it's a nice creamy color. I mean, it looks white, but in all actuality, I think it's just a little bit off white. But I think this is going to really look nice on this piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of paint on my brush. And I'm going to wipe the majority of all of the paint off my brush because I'm just going to dry brush this. I'm just going to go over it with a little bit of paint just to give it a little bit of color in these areas where it's raised. So I purchased these really beautiful butterfly transfers on Amazon and I'm just going to put a few of these on the dresser to give it a little bit of whimsy.
right, so the transfers are on and they look beautiful. So the next step is to wax this piece. The wax not only helps to protect the paint, but it will also help protect the transfers as well. Um, I am using Amy Howard's Chalk Teeth Light Paste Wax. Super easy to use. I just take some on a clean, older sock, and I just wipe it on in a circular motion. This is what it looks like. And you let it sit for three to five minutes and then you buff it out. The dresser is all done and I think it turned out beautifully. I love the soft pink color and I also think that adding the white highlights on the little detailing on the dresser really gave it a lot of added dimension in a very subtle way. Uh, the hardware, I think that it uh, cleaned up beautifully. I'm glad to see more of the original gold finish come through after getting them cleaned. And I'm also very happy with the knobs that I purchased at Menards. I think that they match the original hardware quite well. Also, I think that my little patch that I made with the clay turned out pretty good, considering <laughs> working with clay is not something I have very much experience in at all. Um, the butterfly transfers, it gives it just that little added touch of whimsy that I think Gracie's really going to love. When I was a little girl, I had a French provincial dresser. And so when I saw this on Facebook Marketplace, I figured that this would be a really nice piece for our sweet Gracie. I really enjoyed this makeover on this French provincial dresser. I thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I hope that you all have a great week. I'm sending you all of my love and I will see all of you very soon. And until then, goodbye.